Hey y'all, it's Miranda, AKA Mastermind M, and I am back with another video, video, but today this is gonna be another book takeaway. Um, so basically, I'm not gonna make this video too extensive. I have recently finished reading this book, which is Secrets of a Millionaire Mind um, by T. Harv Ecker. And I've already went through and made notes and highlighted certain things that stuck out to me. And now I am reading on to my next book. I'm reading The Secret, but I'm not done with it. But since I just wrapped this one up, I wanted to come and give y'all my takeaways just in case you are interested in getting this book or you just are interested in knowing what's in the book and you don't want to get it yourself or whatever, or whatever that may be. But I'm going to give you my main takeaway. So I'm just going to do this real organically. I'm going to flip through the pages. Literally, I don't have any notes um premeditated for this video but i do have notes already highlighted in the book from when i read it so i'm going to flip through probably give y'all like three takeaways so what i'm going to do i'm going to flip through find one read it um think about it and kind of tell y'all what made me highlight it why it's important to me and why it stuck out to me so let's get into it also if you are new to the channel take a look at the description box below i do like to kind of give you a summary of what this channel is all about if you are new here so you can kind of understand that and know what to expect if you decide to stay and subscribe i will appreciate that but at the top of that description box you will find your weekly motivational quote so i like to do that to just give you some inspiration some motivation when you come to my videos so let's get into it so i am just going to flip through and i'm going to read this one it's kind of lengthy so let's get into it so this is page also if you have the book or you plan on getting the book and you if you want to kind of go to these parts yourself and dissect the quote yourself i'm going to include the page numbers so I am on page 67 and I highlighted the universe, which is another way of saying higher power is a keen to a big meal order department. It is constantly delivering people, events, and things to you. You order what you get by sending energetic messages out to the universe based on your predominant beliefs. Okay, so I really like that because um what he did was give an analogy by saying that like basically imagine um the universe as like a up usps or a postal office and you are sending your mail in but your mail is basically your wants your desires and things like that what this quote reminded me of is the law of attraction like putting things out into the universe and it come back to you so Excuse me, I really liked that. I just got finished eating some fruit and for some reason it made me burp. <laughs> but I really liked it that. And it's funny because literally the next sentence behind the highlighted sentence says, again, based on the law of attraction, the universe would do its best to say yes and support you. So that's literally what that is. I guess this section was talking about um, law of attraction. I'm not gonna like read the whole page or anything like that. I'm strictly just gonna read the highlighted page, tell y'all my thoughts on it, move on to the next one. So. I really honestly I don't have much to say I agree with everything they just said um it boils down to the universe being a system where you tell it what you want you behave in the way that you want and it delivers it to you I, it's, it's way more deeper than that but that's like the summarized version of that so once again I'm just gonna randomly randomly flip through i'm gonna pick one on camera let's see oh okay never mind let's see oh oh <laughs> all right so instead of reading all of this i'm going to read this first one because the words are italicized so um the sentence says oh i'm on page 156 the sentence says they understand that the more your money works the less you would have to work Ooh, love that so that remind i don't know who they is because i didn't read the prior 
um paragraph just then i read the whole book but i didn't read the prior paragraph but i wanted to highlight that sentence and when i reread it 100 percent, it reminds me of rich dad poor dad y'all know i did a video on that on my channel as well if you haven't seen it go check that out too because what i'm trying to do as i read these books and i've read other books i just haven't done takeaway videos but my favorite books such as rich dad poor dad and this one and things like that um and thinking grow rich love that one did i do that one oh i did i did i did that one too check it out but um yes it reminded me of rich dad poor dad because it's a lot like rich dad poor dad it's it's the truth it's like the first book you want to start reading when you want to change your mindset when it comes to wealth and not even just money but wealth because what's included is like um things to do to number one even attain attain more money and kind of like what to do with the money and how to make your money work for you so it's like it's not about just doing this making a whole bunch of money yada 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 no it's about like taking certain routes routes in life and setting yourself up to have such thing as passive income and things like that and have um investments and stuff like that instead of just having a day job because you will never become wealthy from just working one day job having one stream of income so not to talk too much about that book but that quote reminded me a lot of that and i love that because it also reminded me of this quote i heard from 50 cent was it 50 cent yes and he was like if you don't learn how to make money in your sleep you will work until you die don't nobody want to work until they die just period i know this whole thing about oh have a retirement have a retirement account put it to your 401k yada 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 retire when you're 65 pull out your money out yada 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 that's whack out the door because for several reasons because who's to say i'm gonna see 65 who's to say that by 65 i could have made more money by having more streams of income who's to say that when i hit 65 the money in my 401k who's to say that's going to sustain the years to come i'll probably be here until i'm 190 you know that's a whole nother 30 40 years and who's to say I got enough money in my 401k to be living off that, especially with inflation? Make it come on now, make it make sense. That makes no sense to me to save a certain amount of money and then as soon as you hit a certain age to just pull it all out and start living off that and have no working income, no income coming in. It ain't even gotta be working, it'd be passive, but have no income. Who so now, now you gotta live off social security and stuff like that, anyway. Yeah, so that's what that quote reminded me of. Um, I don't really have much else to say on that one either. It is what it is. It's a very straightforward quote. I mean, it says, the more your money works, aka passive income, investments, and things of such, the less you would have to work. So people invest into stock markets, Bitcoin, people that have home-based businesses, um, anything where you don't have to clock in to make money that's going to allow you to work less and I love it why would you not want that life so I'm going to do one more I'm going to start from the beginning flip find one let's see I'm looking for the orange okay here's one all right so this one page 75 this one says, the purpose of our lives is to add value to the people of this generation and those that follow. I like that. And that was actually a quote from someone by the name of Book Minister Fuller, um, who looks like has the title of one of the greatest inventors and philosophers. So I like that. Um, I do feel like it is our duty to have some type of significance in this world. Me personally, I can really resonate with that, especially if you see my last video. I, I talk a lot about impact. That's really what I wanna do. That's what I wanna be known for. I want people to understand that my biggest goal in life when it comes to other people is to impact people's lives positively. Like, I feel like I, I will be living, I'ma speak for myself, 
no one else have to feel this way about their life. This is just how I feel. I feel like if I came to this, um, to this earth when I was created and I just solely focused on me and myself and made sure I had what I wanted and lived a life where it was just like me, 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 I feel like I would have lived a selfish life. What did I do in that lifetime to make the world better? What did I do in that lifetime to improve at least one person's life? What did I do in that lifetime to say I serve my purpose, if that makes sense? And everybody's purpose is not to impact lives or impact the world, you know? But in some type of way, a lot of times it do have something to do with at least one other person. So that's all I got to say for that one. I love um, the fact that we ended on that one because it kind of goes with my whole thing of my career choice. But I'm gonna wrap this up. I just wanted to do three, give you a little taste of this book. It's a lot more to it. Um, it, it didn't take me that long to read this book because as you can see, it's not that big. But I really, 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 really enjoyed this book. Um, this is my first book I read by this author and I love his sense of humor. So if you are into books like this, like fi financial literacy, financial education, things like that, honestly, mindset as well, this is what you need. Because it was, very, it, it was fun, actually. It was fun to read this book like the other books. I enjoyed them as well, but his sense of humor, like he just had like a little razzle dazzle um, sprinkled on it, so I enjoyed that. So, yeah, um, that's all I got for today's video. I'll catch y'all next one. Toodles.